teacher SP and welcome back to my channel so today I will be teaching you about business mathematics and ito po yung uh, topic na ito ginagamit natin talaga sa buhay natin sa araw-araw and that is simple interest so if you are interested please keep watching until the end of this video so I have here on the board the simple interest so if you're going to go to the concept of simple interest how or paano natin or kailan natin ginagamit ang simple interest if you have to borrow money for a short period of time ito lang po ay nasa uh, dalawang taon or tatlong taon month or years pero kung like for example mga 25 years iba naman po yung pag-uusapan natin where we will be talking about the compound interest so but now the topic for today is a simple interest ano yung formula ng interest Interest is equal to, kasi po, may tatlo po yun eh. We have time given a year, pag time mo given in month, and the time given the, 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 the days. For the simple interest, we have interest is equal to PRT, where P is the principal amount, rate is the R, and T is time. So, like for example, Mrs. Galliano borrowed 25000 for two and one fourth years at eight percent per year find the simple interest so we're looking for the simple interest but before that we are going to get the given ano po yung mga given natin so given natin twenty five thousand is your principal amount ito po yung pera na hihiramin mo and then for your rate we have eight percent and change 8% to decimal. Paano mo po gagawin yun? So, this is your des the, the decimal. Move two places to the left. 1, 2, and that is 0 0.08. Tapos, yung time natin is 2 and 1 fourth years. And how are we going to do that? So, since 2 here, guys, is your years, so 1 fourth, paano po natin gagawin ang 1 fourth? So, 1 divided by 4 cannot be, so you have to add 0 here. How many 4 are there in 10? So, that is 2. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Bring down 0. So, 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So, therefore, yung 1 fourth mo, that will be equal to 0.25. So, complete na po yung given and that's the right time that you are going to substitute the given. Interest is equal to PRT. So, principal is 25,000 times your rate that is equal to 0 0.08 times your time that is 2.25. So, if you're going to multiply this, guys, that will give you 4,500. It means to say, ito po yung interest na babayaran ninyo within two and one fourth years for the amount of 25,000 na hihiniram mo. Okay, so ngayon, you are going to add your principal amount. Ito yung amount of money. Tapos nun, your interest so with a total of 29,500. So ito po yung total amount that you are going to pay sa hiniraman. Okay, so that is uh, simple interest a young time given a year. So, I, for example, number two, I will be discussing paano naman po mag-compute kapag ang time is in months. For example, number two, guys, the given is ang time mo naman is in month. So, kung paano, same formula pa rin, guys. So, but our time is in months. Just now, for our example number one, ang time po natin na sa years. So, example, how much is the simple interest on 17,600 pesos for seven months at 7.5%? Like for example, you want to borrow money for the amount of 17,600 at pitong buwan mo po siya babayaran within 7.5%. Okay, sige. Sabi niya, sabi na kaibigan, okay, I will let you borrow money for the amount of 17,600, but you will be paying that 7 months. In, within 7 months, 
7.5% lahat yun, not monthly, ah. Okay, now, how are we going to do that? So, given our principal amount is 17,600 and our rate is 7.5%. So, how are you going to change that to decimal? Dito po kayo magsa-start, okay? And uh, here, here, by the way, here, magsa-start po kayo wherever is the decimal there. So, mag-move po tayo ng two places to the left. One, two, so that is 0 0.075. Tapos, ang time po natin is 7 months. We know that in one year, there are 12 months. So, magiging fraction siya na magiging 7 over 12. So, kapag complete na po yung given, then that's the right time that you are going to substitute the given in your formula. Interest is equal to PRT. Our principal amount is 17,600 times 0 0.075 and then times your time in months that is 7 divided by 12. You can also do 7 divided by 12 whatever is the, the value, if you will be using your calculator, and then times 0 0.075 times 17,600. So kapag multiply niyo po yun, then 770, within 7 months, ang interest mo lang po sa pera is 17,600. The question is, what is the total amount that you are going to pay? So it uh, add mo lang po yun. So i-add mo po ng principal amount ng 17,600 and it will give you 0, 0, 0, 7, and then 13 carat one that is 18,370 okay so that's it and the next teaching guys I will be teaching you on how are you going to compute in days naman, we have the ordinary interest and the exact interest. So kasi in uh, a month, iba-iba po kasi yung, ano eh, yung um, days. Like for example, how are you going to know that month has 31 days? And uh, ito po yung ginamit ko, we have a knuckle method. Okay, ito po yung, yung knuckle method I will be teaching you. So kapag dito po nakatuon guys, dito po yung may bukol, Ibig sabihin, if that month na nakatuon sa bukol, that has 31 days. Pag ito, wala. Okay? Naka 30 or 28. Okay? So, let us uh, practice. So, January. So, dito po siya. So, January is 31 days. If you will check your calendar. January, February, no. Hanggang 28 lang. March has 31 days. April, no. May has 31 days. Okay? June, wala dito. July has 31 days. August, so balik na naman ulit kayo dito. August has 31 days. September, wala. October has 31 days. And then November, wala. And then December is 31 days. So it means to say, yung hindi nakatuon dito sa bukol, it has 28 or 30 days. Pag nakatuon ang month sa bukol, that has 31 days. Again, so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, so balik ka dito, September, October, November, December. So, uh, you will be using the, the knuckle method. So, that's it guys. And um, let us meet again in another teaching tomorrow. And uh, I hope you enjoy, my, uh, you enjoy our lesson for today. And have a great day everyone.